Hi, it's Michael from GRTraining.com and in this video I am going to show you a little bit more advanced uh, workflow configuration. Okay, so what we've got here, I'm going to use a server version, which is uh, going to be the, probably the very, very, uh, not very latest version 7.5, that is no problem. So it's not very outdated but anyway it is the same same very 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 same um, approach into the cloud so you can you can easily replicate that steps in a cloud version all right so what's the plan so we've got actually over here some kind of project doesn't really matter what kind of project it is it is just to let you know it is a software plus uh, with a sprint so definitely it is a scrum yes so it looks like we've got basically a few uh, issues in the backlog, we've got a few active sprints, and that's absolutely fine. So what, what's going to happen if I'm going to move it into the back and forward? Um, oh, it's just a little bit slow. Never mind. So I am going to probably create new issue. Yeah, so what we've got here, we've got story and we've got back. So let's do the story demo, demo. I don't really need that many columns, so I'm going to change it. Okay. And this view 24, it is, it's just been created. Okay, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. And it is in our backlog yes 24 so when we're going to put it to the active sprint well i'm not supposed to do it but why not it is of course appearing yes and i can move it to my in progress or done okay but what is the purpose of that i would like to have a look because uh i'm gonna use maybe non non, non simplify workflow for uh back type so what we're gonna do what we're gonna do because uh, it's a little bit confusing especially if you want to improve working with the workflow especially removing steps from the workflow it is it is actually uh, not that simple it is not that simple there is a small projection I just want to show you because if you want to remove something from the active uh, workflow, that's just not going to happen. Jira is not going to let you do it. So let's go into the project setting. And of course, you know, I'm assuming again, you are the project administrator like me, system administrator. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the workflow. And as you can see, I've managed basically to add um, additional workflow for a uh, back yeah so issue is using basically this workflow and that's what they call Jira workflow is using for the back how to do it very simple basically you're just going to add existing you're going to choice and next step you're going to associate with uh, issue type because please don't forget that Jira can support multiple multiple uh, workflow it's just that's how many issues you've got so you can have very very different issues for story for epic for, for task whatever how many issues issue types you've got you can have like five issue types and five different workflows and this is actually by me recommended approach because sometimes especially with the larger organization it's very difficult to have a one unified dashboard for for every single issue type and you know I've, I've seen some really complicated like with more than you know 60 steps which is a bit crazy okay but let's uh now go to that bug so as you can see there is an interesting thing you know just i've managed to add the default the default one into the into the bug and i cannot edit it you know i cannot edit this you know why i cannot edit this this workflow, of course, you know, it, I can't edit it because it is shared with the, of course, I'm always checking this issue type is sharing with four other projects. And because it's a default, you can't edit it, you know, so you can't edit it. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do with this? It's a very, very simple, you know, of course, you, know, you can't edit it, the, simple, uh, the, the, the default workflow. So we're going to do a copy of that we're gonna do a copy of that let's do it yeah so i'm gonna go to the uh you, now you need to be basically system administrator yeah so only system administrator is gonna see that uh global global settings if you project administrator unfortunately you can't uh perform 
you can actually you can do it because it, you need a higher permission so but anyway i'm assuming you are the system administrator like me and now i'm gonna go to issues and of course it's gonna ask me for the password and i'm gonna go to the workflows and we've, we've got here look at this you know i'm gonna go even a few and yeah that is my default workflow you know so what you're gonna do yeah, copy it so i'm gonna do copy of Mike's workflow and i'm gonna put the same description why not why not okay so what's gonna happen now it is active yeah so that's cool I've managed to copy because please remember, you know, that's going to be again the same step. Uh, what you have to you have to do if you want to remove something from the actual work, we're just going to do it in a second. OK, let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm going to go back to my um, basic to my project. Yeah. And I do need to change a few bits. All right, so I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to say I would like to remove it. Yeah, so why not? Okay, so do you want to change this? Yes, it's going to ask me to um, obviously remap them. And things get up with the bus server and we're back to the default one. So I'm going to do it again, but now I'm not going to add a default one, but I'm going to add my copy. So add existing and we need to find it. Yes. What was the name of that? Copy, copy, copy. Yep, today, 11.22 a.m., that's the one. Cool, so I'm gonna say, and again, you know, this is actually interesting because I would like to have only for a bug. So it's gonna be non-simplify workflow. Okay, and I'm gonna say finish. And yeah, I'm gonna say publish. So he's asking me for the current status and Raise basically so Dawn is gonna be something like that. Well, it's gonna be close to this. So to do is gonna be the first step. And Dawn is gonna be closed. That looks good. Right, I'm gonna remap it. Cool, that's gonna be fine. All right, so let's have a look what happened because something's interesting happened right now. So when I'm going to go to the to the board, let's go to the board to the configure. And yeah, I can actually add any more. Yeah, can you see I can add any more statuses? I can't add statuses anymore. And why? Obviously, because you know, we are stop using simplified workflow. So in the moment when you because that was actually a simplified workflow before in the moment when you um, changing that, you know, just adding that multiple workflows for multiple issue types, you losing uh, simplified workflow functionality. <laughs> So as you can see right now, we basically lost that functionality of simplified workflow. All right. So now I am going to edit one more time uh, our back workflow. OK, so what are we going to do? Go back to the board. I'm going to go to the project settings, workflows, and now we can start editing the workflow. Okay, it's gonna ask me for the password. And there you are. Now, yes, we can edit it. I'm actually always using the diagram mode. It's just easy. Yeah? So basically what's gonna happen now, if you would like to add a status, it is simple. So we can actually choose something. Been already actually working, but maybe, you know, maybe we're gonna, 
add something new. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be fine. So I'm going to say yes. And well, now it's going to be new status. And what's going to be the category for that? So if, if it's a review, basically, it is not in progress. It's not in, not in done. So I would say to do is absolutely fine. And yes. And there you go. We've got actually our review. Yeah. However, Jerry is actually saying, just just telling us, please take a look because it looks like it's an orphan status. Yes. Yeah? So we cannot we cannot basically do anything with this. Why? Because obviously the transition is missing. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, publish. I would say yes. I'm gonna like copy. That is active right now. So unfortunately, you know, I will be not able to change anything. So it's going to be, let's have a look what's going to happen if I would like to remove it. Yeah. So there is no transi transitions. Can I remove it? Of course I can, I can remove it. It's not going to be a problem because basically we don't use that status Yeah. But let's going to do maybe something else. And yeah, I'm going to publish it. I'm going to say copy, of course, yes. Uh, no, it's no problem. So what's going to happen if I would like to remove it? Let's state this. Mm, can I actually publish it? Okay, in this case, I could, I could actually publish it. That's not a problem because that status was not in use. But let's go back a bit. Let's go back. So I'm gonna now go into the uh, our backlog. Yeah, and basically I'm gonna create some new issue, and it's gonna be a back demo back demo back. That's fine. And because our workflow looks like this, yes, <laughs> not the best because we removed the closed, uh, but that doesn't really matter. So I'm going to do start progress. So what's happened now? It is in progress. Yeah, it is in progress is is great. So uh, definitely we've got one issue associated with that. So let's try and now remove that state. So what's going to happen? Yeah, so let's actually Go back to the project settings. Of course, workflows. Uh, edit. And in progress, I would say remove. And there you go. That is the error what you're going to get if something is associated with that status. This is very, very clear. It's like a really protection to us protecting ourselves. So normally what you have to do, you have to basically make sure nothing is associated with that issue. Yeah. And if the workflow is basically in use, I would say I'm going to recommend an even different method for that. So let's go to workflow. And uh, no, let's go to this one, this project. So first of all, I'm going to do the copy of that from the global settings. I'm going to copy that workflow if I want to use that. Change the for the copy, make the workflow unactive. This one, which we would like to change it. Uh, apply the changes for the settings and came back to original settings. I know it is a little bit long way to do it, but unfortunately, Jira, that's how it it is going to work. So right now I'm going to do probably like this. I'm going to go to the uh, issues, workflows, and there's that copy of my, and now I'm going to do copy. I'm going to have a copy of the copy, copy for, for instance, yet. Yeah. Absolutely fine. And now I'm going to adjust the copy for yeah, whatever one, because you know, that workflow is not in use, as you can see, it's inactive. Yes, I can add statuses, you know, I can say it's like, that's like done. I think it's resolved. Uh, from 
this place we can hear the status so yeah i'll go just actually closed yes yeah closed yes and of course obviously they it's an orphan status i need to add uh the basically because i can go with the same name yeah uh, yep. Well, but generally speaking, I need to basically, I need to, I need to adjust this. Yeah, I need to adjust. I need to add the transition. I'm not going to show you how to do it because it's pretty simple. You just need to add a transition, save it, and when you're absolutely happy, go back, came back, go to the edit, and swap that existing workflows to my copy, maybe adjust the name, and that's it. That's gonna be like the simplest way how to basically adjust the workflow which is already in use, because please remember Jira is not gonna let us to remove any statuses from the workflow which is in use. That's basically how it is. All right, so thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, please, of course, uh, let me know. Uh, so maybe I can, add, I can record a few additional videos or a few more videos. Thank you very much.